Viking food. Viking slave. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a very good reason why you go with the local guys who know what they're doing. Because we are in the middle of the mountains. There's no petrol up here, but there it is when you have three Vikings. <laughs> and with a smile. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Well, we got for you, gentle. Oh, oh you're cute. volcanoes and a lava field. Entering a, this canyon is like a volcano fissure. It was like a 45 kilometers long, and it erupted around 930. And the earth just opened up like a zipper, and a, the lava flow came out of it. So we are in that canyon now. hardened lava and then we're in like black sand Thankfully, 
four in Iceland and I pretty much feel like I'm standing in two buckets of water it's been so wet I think we've done a million water crossings but the most incredible moment of today was riding along in a lava field with Hecla up standing proud and then the volcanic ash was like sand weaving through these rugged lumps of I guess dried hardened lava it was absolutely mind-blowing we've pulled up to our mountain hut for the evening with the most spectacular view got a viking beer and that was i'd say the most incredible day riding i've ever had but i'd be lying because it was the fourth day of the most incredible riding that i've done and that has all been here in iceland mind-blowing scenery incredible cheers to day four <laughs> it is a really wet day, uh, there's a massive pressure of rain coming through but we're all kitted up, we're in our waterproof, so we're off to see a glacier and a lava field. Is someone being silly behind me? No? Is that mini Viking? <laughs> You're just so suspicious of all these guys. I am, I'm suspicious. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day though. <laughs> Iceland, man! the map of Iceland I'm realizing quite why we need to ride with locals guys because all of these are roads that you can drive on but none of the ones that we have ridden on are even on any map anywhere so there's no way of discovering them unless you've got that local knowledge from the Vikings I'm uh, so proud of my hip. It's been doing really, really well. I am, um, all that physio has paid off, but we just decided to stop and walk to a waterfall. All the way down there. And it was worth it for the waterfall. But man, my hips are, <sighs> one step after the other. The good news is normally, when you've got a motorbike, you don't need to walk, right? Unless there's a waterfall. It was worth it. It was worth it. It's also really wet. Really wet. strong current in the middle. You see it's like above knees.
lesson for everyone. If you're gonna tie someone, don't tie a loop in, in the rope. Instead, just put a knot in it and then stand on the knot on the foot peg. And then that means at, at any point, you can just jettison the, the, the bike being towed. It basically means that you're not tied together. So at any point you can bang out, let go of the rope and get yourself out of trouble. But yeah, we've just towed about 15K, um, including some dirt track. <laughs> but we're home and we've earned a beer. <laughs> Woo! So most of the week we've been staying in mountain huts, but we've had a little bit of luxury in the most beautiful sort of Airbnb style apartment. I'll give you a tour. Um, basically, eight of us have evaded, so it's a little bit chaotic in here. But it's absolutely stunning. Really, really gorgeous place. Uh, but the most incredible bit is this way. We are Vikings! <laughs> okay, there is a massive glacier up there. You can kind of see it. We are going to be riding our motorbikes up to that. Woo! We're getting closer. Da -da -da -da. How mad is that? That's a glacier right there. And I'm on a motorbike. What are you doing? Um, we are doing Viking foraging. There are little berries like this. Okay, okay he's a faster forager than me. You have to pick okay, up So I have to try it. Okay. It's very good. What do you reckon it's going to taste like? It's very good with cream. Just cream and this. <laughs> They're really good. No. Wow. I'm telling the truth, that's right. Viking food. You'd have to eat a lot of these to get Viking size. Hey, good recovery. <laughs> for our sandwiches and just done the most amazing work. Look at that. We rode across there and no one fell in. If you're interested in coming to ride Iceland, ride with the locals is the most authentic way to do it. It's run by proper Vikings and everything that you could need for your motorbike trip is included. So from when you start your trip, they are going to sort all the bikes, the fuel, the logistics, your accommodation, they're going to feed you an amazing food. Some of the Icelandic culture in that food, protein bars, road snacks, drinks, beers in the evening. Everything that you can need from the beginning of the trip to the end of the trip is included. There are no hidden costs or anything like that. So you can rest assured that they've got it sorted. They know this landscape because they're proper Vikings. Like, they know where to take you on motorbikes. I'm Vanessa, the girl on a bike, and I'm on an Icelandic adventure riding Husqvarna 701s. Please hit subscribe to my YouTube channel, and here it is.
reached a pretty uh, brutal river crossing. It's both deep and fast flowing. So right in the middle, it was above knee height, which is too high for the air intakes on these bikes. So Vikings have gone upstream. Let's try and find something a little bit safer, but you can see Viking in the river on the right and it's up to his thighs. He actually looks like he's going to fall over. So how was the glacier path? I'm angry. I fell in the river. So yeah, I kind of just fell in the river. Um, I'm pretty wet. Thankfully, the bike is okay, but that is a pretty fast flowing deep river. Um, so walkers are just going across. Try doing that step with a massive motorbike. part of the adventure. <laughs> Body's definitely feeling a little bit tired, so I'm looking forward to a hot shower at the end of it. It has been the most incredible day's riding I've ever had. Icelandic off-road motorcycle adventure is right up there on the bucket list. A bikes, A riders, successfully home! They do small riders. Icelandic enduro school. <laughs> Enduro wiping. <laughs>